welcome. In this video, I will talk about a concept called Petty Cash and how this can be catered in Microsoft Dynamics Institute of Finance and Operations. So before I jump into Microsoft Dynamics Institute of Finance and Operations, I would like to clarify or explain the concept what is Petty Cash. So Petty Cash is a very common and very must have functionality in any ERP because this is the must have and this is the very common uh, business process for each and every organization each not if not every then most of the organization i would say so what is petty cash petty cash is a small amount of money a company keeps for small or incidental expenses these minor payments includes office supplies stationery tea coffee snacks etc so in one language <clears throat> assume there is a unit of manufacturing company or finance uh, finance company they have some branches and in that branch there is a receptionist or cash custodian who maintains the cash it's not like bank in bank what we do we actually pay by via check or via the host to host integration or by bank we pay it right but for cash we don't need any bank it's basically the receptionist or a cash custodian for a particular branch who maintains a cash register and from the cash register they release the cash to the worker or for any requirement <clears throat> like supply office supply stationery you know evening snacks a small small requirement they fulfill by the cash register so this is basically the petty cash what we can say so as an example say suppose there is a you know a manufacturing unit who has unit in silvasa who has unit in mumbai noida and other locations so there are you know a uh, respective cash custodian or receptionist who maintains this cash register for their unit as and when the required any worker or any business requirement comes up for anything like a uh, snacks evening party so they say so this custodian release those cash to the worker or to the or the required stakeholders so this is basically the cash ca petty cash accounting in finance now let's see how this can be done in microsoft dynamics is to finance and operations so now i am in microsoft dynamics is to finance and operations and the first thing i need to do is i need to make sure my version is 10039 and above because as of now this petty cash accounting you know functionality was not there in dynamics is to finance and operation this has been a major you know uh, problem statement for each and every implementation i personally have faced in one of the biggest implementation last year in one of the uh, you know manufacturing company in india so this year microsoft has given this brand new functionality as a petty cash i have enabled this so once i have enabled this under cash and bank management module i will have option for cash accounting so if i go to cash cash and bank so now you will notice there is a form called petty cash is given so i will talk about this cash accounts and sleep journal later on first i would i want to explain what are the prerequisite or configuration to do that right so just assume as of now petty cash is like a sub ledger now previously how we used to mitigate i used to, we used to tell that either you create a bank as a petty cash account or you create a ledger and you know fulfill or maintain jv by the ledger accounts now the cash accounts is basically a sub ledger <coughs> so for <coughs> other sub ledgers we may need to maintain hosting profile right i will come back to that hosting profile later on even first <coughs> i would like to explain that once i have enabled it in the cash and bank management parameter i will have cash as a tab and here i need to enable the enable petty cash and after this i need to select like default values i need to select posting profile here like for other module as well so there are <clears throat> couple of setup what i will i will you know show in the demo how it works but for now the prerequisite we need to configure this posting profile and need to select the posting profile the second thing and the most important thing is that number sequence so like for other module as well in cash accounting petty cash accounting also we have couple of cash related 
things which is cash reimbursement slips cash disbursement slips right cash reimbursement mean when we when we deposit some money from bank to cash in hand account and disbursement means when we release some money from the cash accounting so for this very important we need to must have this number sequence for that but here we have cash correction voucher cash exchange advance ad, uh, adjustment slip cash exchange so all the cash related uh, things we need to set up the number sequence okay and the second thing i look i will talk about that cash accounts so like i mentioned cash account is now a sub ledger so in my ppt what i have showcased that a manufacturing unit having sorry in a manufacturing company having unit in silvasa mumbai noida and other places so for that a company can create cash account as per their unit wise or they can further drill down between the units as well okay so i have what i have created i have created haridwar as a cash account mumbai as a cash account noida as a cash account and silvas as a cash account so when i am going to release the or or the cash custodian is going to maintain the cash register they can select or the cash custodian from haridwar location they can use this haridwar as a cash account <laughs> okay so this is the cash account it is very similar to bank account but for bank there are many fields but for cash it is very few i will show what are the fields are there so cash i need to give a cash account name and description right i also can have number sequence group but this is not must have this is optional <coughs> because i already have stated that the number sequence is driven by the number sequence tab in the cash and bank management parameter and i can set up the currency default currency and more currency means <coughs> even if i am having i am setting this default as a currency as default currency if the cash needs to be you know uh, disbursed by other currency i can use that more currency as well <coughs> okay so this is not a very common requirement but yes if the company is a multinational company and they are dealing with multiple currency they can have it okay negative cap negative cash means are we allowing the negative cash for this cash account mostly it is not because cash is a hard cash uh, with the receptionist so if there is no cash that means they will not release any money so but if there is use case they can do that <coughs> the negative cash okay this is one parameter one setup another setup the most important is balance limit balance limit is what we can set up minimum balance limit we can set up maximum balance limit and as per the currency as well i can set up accounting currency inr i can have minimum maximum i can similarly i can select other currency as well with minimum maximum okay and this error check balance limit means say suppose accept warning and error if the balance limit is exist exceeded say i can tell okay system will stop it if not stop i can select warning system will give a warning if not even warning or error system will accept so for everything for this case for every limit i have selected error so if even a single penny is exceeded from this balance limit system will stop us that i will talk about okay so this is the uh, setup and from here i can see all the transactions i from here i can see all the cash balance what is the current balance okay and this cash balance limit check balance limit is it it shows it checks all the parameters from the balance limit and it gives us a result whether it is fine or not so if i i clicked on it if i click on message details so it will tell me balance on account is this okay and cash remainder is this uh, i mean this haridwar is okay so this is basically checking all the balance limit from here and telling us the result okay all the balance are okay now you can go ahead okay <clears throat> so this is all how to how to set up the cash accounts okay i have created four cash accounts as a unit wise and then i can set up a posting profile so i have selected the posting profile and then i have added this cash account and i have given the individual main account so for haridwar i have a different cash account so i have selected this main account as a cash account so whenever i post any entry in haridwar this account will come into the picture okay similarly for this unit as well i have selected i have given this ledger accounts 
once I'm done with the cash account setup, now I can create some of the journal names. Okay, I will talk about why the journal names because this is a sleep journal, right? So sleep journal means it's kind of JV, but it basically helps to create the cash sleep journal from this form. So like you can see, I have created unit wise journal name. So a Haridwar cash custodian, they can use this journal. A Mumbai cash custodian, they can use this journal with having proper, you know, control setup. So now what I'm doing is I'm creating an entry because I have, I have set up the cash account and I have also set up <coughs> configured the posting profile right so now everything is set what I need to do see before I do if you notice that the accounting type is petty cash this petty cash was never there in system right so for that how it comes a journal name the new journal type came up which is journal type cash so this cash is basically for the sleep journal sleep journal is means cash sleep journal from where we are disbursing, we are giving the money. <clears throat> so when a, when a cash custodian or reception is giving the money, they can come into this slip, slip journal form, they can punch the entry here. Okay. So for that case, I will select maybe Haridwar, right? And I can select uh, as many as I want. Let's see. And then I will select an expense. Let's suppose uh, okay. Fred expenses. Okay. Maybe this one I will take. I can select financial dimension as well. So now once I'm done, I can see INR. I can also change the INR currency as well okay, from this place. Once I'm done, what I need to do, I need to click on documents approval. I can approve it. Okay. So now, so before it is approved, it, give, it is giving me the error. Right. So what is the error? <clears throat> let's see so now you see there is a balance check error cash Haridwar balance in ISD is insufficient right cash account Haridwar this and at the end of the day is less than the limit of 10 right so it is giving me the balance check before I approve it it is saying that there is no balance limit I mean balance limited exceeded in a minimum balance limit exceeded that's the reason it will not allow say if I take you know 5 USD if I try to approve it it is approved right and you can post it so yeah that's it uh, a sleep journal is going, going to post at this posted right so what I can do I can go back to my cash sorry I can go back to my cash account cash accounts and in Haridwar I can click on cash transactions and you will notice this transaction are posted now you will notice that in document type it is coming as cash reimbursement slip and it is coming disbursement slip why because as I mentioned debit when you send as it when you post as I enter the debit that means it is it is reimbursing right it is loading i mean user is loading the money to the cash account right loading the value in the cash account and when is disbursement that means a cash custodian is releasing the cash from his cash register right so this is that's how it works with the cash accounting in d65 there are you know a couple of reports are as well I will show uh, in condition reports cash reports you see cash ledger reconciliation cash statement report and cash transaction report these three report is out of box you can utilize it if required okay that's it about the petty cash accounting I hope you have I mean this demo will help you to cater this requirement in Microsoft Dynamics Institute of Finance and Operations. And thanks for watching. Stay tuned for another video. Bye for now.